Uh, welcome to my channel guys um uh, how are you i uh, thank you for being here i we are still on revolution in nigeria and um, i'm going to analyze the reason why we really need the revolution um in nigeria is a country where the senate senators earn 29 million naira every month how much is 29 million in dollars it's about 68 thousand dollars every month basic salary the other wardrobe allowance is not there the cars is not there the housing allowance is not there can you imagine 60 68 thousand dollars every month just the senators and the money they are stealing is not there this is the reason why we need revolution. I'm going to try to analyze bit by bit. Every senators, every governors, and every chairman send their children abroad for education. How do I mean? The 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 education system in Nigeria is so porous that the course that you're supposed to use four years you got to use eight years because of the strike the lecturers goes on strike every six to eight months and when they go to strike they are going to stay on strike for more than four months on each you got to calculate it in four years now, the lecturers and the professors do not get what they want. Their demand is not met for years. Okay, now let's talk about the salaries. 68,000 dollars every month. An average Nigerian earns 30,000 Naira every month. Yeah. Minimum wage in Nigeria is 30,000 Naira. A bag of rice is 30,000 Naira. Imagine you earn 30,000 Naira in a month and you go to bag, buy a bag of rice. 30,000 Naira. So meaning you work only for the rice at the end of the month. There's no tomato, no fish, no meat, gas or kerosene to cook your food. None. What about your bills? Your house rent, the electricity, etc. The transport, your children at school. Come on, African government, they are so selfish. How do you think a common man that earns 30,000 as minimum wage will survive with 30,000 every month? Now you see why there's too much corruption in Africa. You see why there's too much corruption in Nigeria. You see why? How much is minimum wage? 30,000 is less than $100 right now. Less than hundred dollars. I'm in Israel. A minimum wage in Israel is about one thousand two hundred dollars. About one thousand two hundred dollars. A bag of rice of five kg is about eleven to fifteen dollars. You see the? Do you see? Do you see the space? A mini bag of half kg rice in Israel is 11 to 15 dollars the minimum wage is 1200 dollars now if you're buying 10 kg to 15 kg you have a whole lot of money to buy so this is the reason why Africa 
We need revolution. We really need revolution. We are those kind of people who travel the world and develop other people's country and leave our countries behind. You go to South Africa, you buy houses, you buy cars, you build houses, you have children. The money you make stays in South Africa. But in our country, we are crying, we need development. I don't know the kind of leaders, I don't know if you're getting me. Because we ran away from the economy. It's not as if we love to stay outside. Everybody wants to be where she, where or she belongs, where you can have say. In my own country, I can say whatever I want. I can go wherever I want to. Right now, as in Israel, there's, I can't just go anywhere I want and demand. I can't demand for what I want from the government here because I don't belong here. Tell me, any senator, tell me, any senator, that his family is schooling in Nigeria. None. The hospitals are porous. When they have headache, they go to America. When they have ear pains, they go to London. Then when they have nose pains, they go to France. They go to Europe for medical checkup. When is Africa going to wake up? Somebody once asked me, how long have you been away from your families as a whole? I said, 10 years. A guy asked me two months ago. No, it's about a month and a half now. I was sitting one-on-one -on -one with him, he's an Israeli. And I told him about 10 years, never seen my family at home. My mother died. I never went to her burial. He shouted. He said, what? I said, my brother, if I leave, my children may not have a good life. Because going back there, I don't have, there's no faith. Even if I go with $10,000, the economy is not friendly. The government is nowhere near to help you. Look, let me explain something to you. You are earning $68,000 every month. It's, it's, you are equivalent to a madman on the street who sees a can and he picks. Knowing that that can is not useful to him. When he sees a plastic bag, he picks. When he sees a rag, he picks. Not only that that rag is not useful to him, not only that that plastic nylon is not useful to him as a madman, right? But he still keeps it. Who are those who the nylon or the can are useful to? The recyclers, those who recycle. When they take that nylon, the can, the clothes, they will go to recycle them and make money out of it and develop the nation. But our leaders keep our money. They steal our money to America. They steal our money to United uh, uh, States. They steal our money to Europe, to France, and keep our money. France, they are also involved in the problem of Africa. When I steal money, I come to hide in your country. What does that mean? What does that tell you that you are also a thief? In America, there are a whole lot of our so-called leaders hiding money in the Bank of America, hiding money in the Bank of Canada, hiding money in the Bank of uh, 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 France and in Europe. Look at my people dying. Look at my people dying. A minimum wage is less than $100. In, in, in Israel, 1,200 maximum, I mean minimum, every month you must earn it. How much is food? If I want to buy meat that I'm going to eat for the complete one month and I'm going to eat meat every month, I'm going to buy it in not less than only me. 
say, okay, I want to eat meat and I'm going to cut it big, big like this. I'm going to buy meat of hundred, I mean of $30. When I buy meat of $30, I'm going to eat it as much as I want for every month. And I'm going to buy various meat. In America, how much is how much is how much is food? How much is bread? This is not the life we want. The next generation, this is not the life we want. I did not come here to Israel as I did not come here to they cannot give me the kind of job I want. I do the job that I don't even like to work, the job that I cannot work in Africa. But what how? I have to survive. My family have to survive. And I don't want my children to come to America to do the kind of dirty job that we are doing. I don't want my children to come to Israel and do the kind of dirty job that I'm doing. I don't want to go to France and do the dirty jobs. My children, let me explain something to you. 95% of Nigerians are educated. Those people you see on the street that they are killed or they are killing, they are all educated. There's no job. There's no electricity. There's no good road. It's not as if there's no road at all, but they are not, they are so selfish that they are not saying they are only for me, for me, for me. Now, let me tell you about the private school in Nigeria. You can do the calculation yourself. A calculation, a one million naira is about 10,000 shekel. If you don't have one million, you cannot put your child in a private university. Where can I get that kind of money to put my child in private university? To graduate fast? I think all these things are deliberate. Because when the government school is not formed, and you're expecting us to come and put our child in your own private universities, even the churches are building private universities. That we, the stakeholders, cannot attend or send our children to your university. Look, minimum of 500 per semester. Is it per session or per semester? Maximum, 1 million. Just, not, not even maximum. Do I say 1, one million? There are schools of 2.5 million. Right there in Nigeria, we are so rich. Oh my God. Guys, this is the why we need revolution. This is why this revolution is needed. Me, I stand, let me tell you, I used to say this in private and I'm saying it openly. If all the senators, all the leaders are into one room and they tell me, hey, they are in there, I'm ready to carry bomb to blast them. I'm saying the truth. I cannot live this life like this and my children will come and live the same. I have never spent 24 hours of electricity in Nigeria. I mean, me, I can testify to that. 25, I mean, 24 hours electricity. <laughs> it's not, it, I, I haven't at this my age. Everybody's having generator. There's no household in Nigeria don't, don't have generator. What is generator? Power generator. In this century that only the sun can give you power. The winds can give you power. And in Africa, we cannot do nothing except borrowing money from France, except borrowing money from America, except borrowing money from China. Common China is ruling all African countries. I rest my case. This is why I cry every day. I told my children, look, I wash the toilet where I am. Be careful, go to school. I know even if you go to school, they are not going to give you a job, but try, think, to be an entrepreneur. If you finish your school, you have to establish your own business. <sighs> uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if this is your first time coming by to my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe, press like, and make sure you press the icon bell for notification. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time here. God bless you.